Shalom, Akim. This is Yah Batazah with JMS. He is hired servants. I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yah Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Much love and respect to you, brothers out there doing the work in sincerity and truth. Bashim Yahweh Shai, Raka Kodash, Barak Adam. To all you brothers out there, all right? Uh, may the Holy Spirit, uh, this word, uh, comfort you and edify you. Uh, According to Yahweh by Shemiah will his will. All right, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and read Revelations three one through six, and just um just go to the Spirit and basically, you know, just speak about how us knowing that we're we're in the last minutes seconds of this current existence of of America, Esau's kingdom, and we know that the end of the world is the end of an age. All right, and his time is up. But before the restoration of Israel, when it begins itself to manifest uh, physically, there's going to be great destruction, great uh, death upon the earth, to the four corners of the earth. No matter where you go, how high, how low, no matter where you at, it's going to be bad, man. All right, so I just want to read Revelations three one through six, because we have to. Um, Repent, man. We have to ask for forgiveness. You know, be remorseful for the things that we've done, and uh, persuade men as well, knowing the terror of the Lord, to repent, to get right with their power, man, to come uh, into the uh, good graces of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. It's through uh, being obedient. Okay, so that's the time we're in, man. You know, uh, there's there's only one name underneath heaven that. You should you, you shall be saved by man. There's not a different all kinds of different names, whatever they got out there. You know, you got a lot of false prophets out there. They ain't coming according to the scriptures and, and just reading and just you know pulling stuff out out the air, man. You know what I'm saying? The, the really is demonic forces that are working on them and just got them, got some bugged out. So I'm gonna read that uh, Revelations three and start at verse one. And unto the angel of the church and and Sardis write. These things saith he that hath the seven spirits of Yahweh and the seven stars. I know thy works, that thou hast a name, that thou livest and art dead. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. For I have not found thy works perfect before Yahweh. Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on, on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Alright, so we know those seven stars are the seven churches of Asia Minor. Alright, that uh, the letters were written to these seven churches. Okay, which in our time is to us the Akim that are on the four corners of the earth that are pushing this word, man. Because you got a lot, a lot of guys that came in and they fell out. That Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus, kicked them out, man. You know, now they're out there being wonder, uh, 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 you know, wandering stars, you know, clouds without no water, you know, uh, just like waves just ro ro rowing through the sea. All right, you gotta, you gotta be watchful, man, and, and strengthen the things that remain. All right, and remember how thou has received and heard and hold fast and repent. So you got to be rooted and grounded in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Ultimately, your faith in this thing, this word that you have once heard and received when you first heard this word, man. Especially us brothers that are been in this thing for more than five years, you know, uh, ten years, twenty years, whatever the case may be. Um, we have to remember that first time man you know it's like in the world whenever you you have your first crush your 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 your, uh, your first love and and we we all can um give an account of it too man us, us brothers us men that are in this truth how we felt when we had that first love man you know and that's how we had to be with the by shimmy i was shy man you know and we had to remember those things because a lot of lot of lot of guys, man, they have they lost the faith, or they wax their their love wax cold, man. You know they become they be, became indifferent towards 
Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, they neglected, they cast off the first works, they cast everything off. Little by little, eventually to where the to, to where it led them was being back at back in the world, man. You know, doing whatever, who knows what they're doing, man. You know? You, you that's why it's important to the to the Akium, you younger brothers or you know, even to to uh, to the to the brothers that are twenty years, it don't matter. It, the point is, you got you got to keep doing the work. You got to keep fighting. That's showing that you have some type of hope, man. Okay, and we have to repent, man. The word repent goes back um, to the uh, to meaning to having a, a feeling of, re of remorse, regret, knowing that you ain't shit. All right, we ain't shit. I ain't shit, man. And in 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 a in a snap of a finger of a, of, of a blink of an eye, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh can have us destroy, man. Look what he's doing out in the world right now, man. He's destroying these people through di diverse situations, man. Mudslides, fires, tornadoes, earthquakes, uh, pestilence, uproars, car accident, whatever, you, whatever, you, whatever you can think of. That's what's happening, man. And it's happened. All right. Times are going to get worse, man. And we all know it because we're discerning the times, man. You know, we ain't setting no date. We ain't saying this is the, the day that the Lord's coming back. Because if you're saying that stuff, man, you're going off, man. You're not in the right spirit. Because you, you're... So if you're setting a day or a time that yet the Lord's coming back, you, 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 you're you uh, you're above Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ. Because Yahweh was going to give his son the green light to come back, telling him when it's time. You know? So it says in uh, Revelations 3 and 3, If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come to thee on thee as a thief, and, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. You know? But even, in, even us brothers that are watching, you know, discerning, all right. That don't mean that we 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 know the time and the day. We can we can we can we just know that it's getting closer. And how do we measure that? It's through the the signs, man. Do the prophecy prophecies being fulfilled? We're getting closer to the RFID chip. All right, things are gonna start getting more speeding up more, man. You know, brothers are gonna start getting uh, real uncomfortable. All right, if you haven't already felt it, you're going to get more uncomfortable, man. You know? So, you got to mentally prepare yourself, man. You got to be watchful, man. You got to uh, strengthen the th strengthen the things that remain. Meaning whatever the most high has given you, you need to you need to strengthen that. And the main thing is your faith. Our faith has to be strengthened day by day, man. All right? Because Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to appear in a time we, we, when we don't know, man. We know that martial law is going to be implemented. We know that the RFID chip is going to be implemented before his return. All right? So, we want to be able to know or to be able to survive through that time and hope to be rap or not raptured, but to be caught up in the heavens by Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right? Cause he's gonna appear in a time that we don't know. When he sounds that trumpet in the twinkling of eye, we're gonna be taken up, man. You know. And you're not being watchful. Guess what? You're gonna be left over here, man. Just get uh, uh, eating a missile, man. By thermonuclear destruction. That's what's gonna destroy this the earth, not the earth, but destroy America. All right. It's gonna be on the four corners of the earth, just straight mass destruction, man. A nuclear nuclear war. Nuclear ho holocaust out in the in the earth, man. All right, Revelations three and four. Thou ha thou hast a few names, even in Sardis, which have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. He that over and that's talking about the the elect, man. You know, the elect are gonna be uh uh. Clothed with uh, white garments, which talk representing uh, righteousness, man. The law, statutes, and commandments. 
All right, they're gonna be um, uh, innocent in the eyes of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and they're justified, and they're not defiled. Their garments, talking about their their spirit, man. All right, it's like when you read uh, was it Revelations thirteen? Uh, Revelations thirteen. I'm gonna go ahead and just bring it out because talking about the hundred and forty four thousand, man. Uh, Revelations 14 and 1 And I looked and lo a lamb stood on Mount Zion And with him a hundred and forty and four thousand Having the, his father's name written in their foreheads And I heard a voice from heaven As the voice of many waters And as the voice of a great thunder And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps And they sung as it were a new song before the throne Talking about this truth man Telling you Negro Latinos and Native American Indians That you are the true Hebrew Israelites all right, breaking down the scriptures, telling you that Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, is a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah. All right, and he's coming back as a man of war. All right, with his, his angelic host. All right, to uh, to destroy these two thirds and these other nations on the earth, man, and he's gonna crown his elect uh, with with the. Uh, with righteousness, man, and glory, salvation. You see? And it says, uh, Revelations 13, or 14, and, uh, 3. Uh, and they sung it as it, as it were a new song before the, before the throne, and before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand. Which were redeemed from the earth. These are they which are not are not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto Yahweh and to the Lamb. And in, and in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of the Most High. All right, so they're going to be clothed. With that white garment, man. With righteousness. With glory and salvation. Okay? So, Revelations 3 and verse 4. Thou hast a few names, even in Sardis, which have not defiled their garments. And they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. You see? And that's that elect. That small remnant. But, the, the, script, the, the scriptures prior up. It's telling us that we have to remember uh, the, what we have received and heard and hold it fast and repent, man. Okay? And and strengthen the things that remain and be watchful. Because we don't know who the elect is. We just know that the elect are going to be gonna be crowned with glory, man. And they're going to receive salvation. The 144,000 and the one-third, that multitude that follows behind them, that consists of women and children. All right? We're living in the last days, man, and and, and, and once the, the 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 elect have been sealed, then all destruction is gonna come, man. This is Revelation seven and one. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on them, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. Talking about thermonuclear destruction, man, that fire, that destroying wind. The four corners of uh, of the the four winds of the, the heavens talking about north, east, west, and south. Okay? Revelation 7 and 2. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. We're talking about the Spirit, man, the Holy Spirit. All right? So it says, And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels. To whom it was given to hurt the earth and the seas. You see? To whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. Saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees. Till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. There were sealed 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Alright? So that's a small number. Uh, compared to the masses on that are on the earth right now, man, there's seven point two billion point uh, seven point three billion people on the earth right now, man. 
But this is pertaining onto Israel, the, the nation of Israel. And you got billions.